Hello, my name is Kyle Burko. I'm a rising senior at the University of Pittsburgh in biomedical engineering. Hi, my name is Sydney Cannon Bailey. I just finished my junior year at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm studying bioengineering and minoring in electrical engineering. This summer I'm doing research at Port Browder College, um, focusing mainly on biomechanics. And I'm here to tell you about my experience abroad in Israel. Uh, I go to work at about 8.30, 9 o'clock, and uh, I work in the laboratory on campus. It's only a five minute walk, so I can, uh, my commute is very easy. When you're given a project at Orprada, you're really told this is your project. You can develop it further. You decide where you go with it, which has been really great for me. And it has helped me explore what I know as a researcher and what I still need to work on. And it's helped me understand the theory behind everything and really investigating everything very thoroughly. Here in Israel, I think I, I've learned more hands-on and how to improvise on my specific project because I have to learn how to go around a, an obstacle not using some equipment or special software that does it for me. I have to figure out how I can do it on my own, how I can figure it out without um, spending lots of money and, and how I can do, uh, come up with my own solution without accessing somebody else's solution first. Um, I don't know how they study in Pittsburgh, but I do know how we see students doing projects in our laboratory. What we would like to see is the way they tackle the problem, the issues they think we should uh, work on, and we have uh, weekly meetings where we talk about these problems and where they, the problems they face, where they're having difficulties, and the way they think they should tackle the problem, and we, go, we carry on from there. It's very informal, and well, we don't sit down with a watch and ask them when to be in the lab and out of the lab, because I've come to realize that um, you can enjoy your work more when you have a free hand at doing what interests you most. Browder College offers an excellence in academic classes. Browder College offers a good laboratory in the field of biotechnology and bioengineering. And on top of that, this is an opportunity for students to get acquainted with Israel, with the social fabric of Israel, to know more than just courses in their field, but also to come back with a strong and meaningful experience meeting people of this country. After work, I, I usually enjoy the weather. Sometimes I go out and enjoy the campus. The, um, there's a lot of restaurants around Carmiel, which is more of a remote city. I can walk everywhere. The buses are cheap to use. You expect to see a huge desert or something, and it's not at all what happens. The first thing that I noticed when I came to Carmiel was the incredible mountains that it's surrounded by. I, when I, my boss brought me to my dorm and I looked outside and I saw the mountains and I was in awe. I asked her, I was like, how do you live next to this every day? This is amazing. And she said, oh, this is nothing for us. We have this everywhere. And it was really crazy to me to have such incredible landscapes. It's a small school and it's a nice time to, to wind down. There's places to relax, places to talk to people. We are also offering the convenience of dormitories that are on campus. This is the dormitory that I live in. Uh, we've got a fridge and freezer that came with it, microwave, my roommate brought a blender which was really nice. We've got a bunch of dishes, I've got a bunch of groceries here, a hot plate to cook things in, a toaster oven to cook things in, so everything that you really need is here. We've got two beds, desks, ethernet cords, air conditioning, there's a lot of storage space, a bunch of shelves and everything. And it's been so cool living with an Israeli student to get a lot more of the culture that might have been missing if I didn't. We are offering also social contacts. We are offering also trips in Israel 
On the weekends, we've been traveling almost everywhere in Israel. Uh, I've been to Tel Aviv twice, three times already. Uh, we're going to Jerusalem soon. We've made it north and to the Upper Galilee region. We've gone rock climbing along the Lebanese borders, seen Syria, Lebanon. People seem to think that in Israel, every corner you walk around, there's going to be someone shooting you or bombing you. And when I first heard about the Israel experience, I did look into it a little bit. And my parents absolutely said, no way, you're not going, it's not going to happen. And so I did a lot of research and I brought up the statistics for them. I talked to people who had been here before and everyone said, it's just the way that the media presents it. And since I've been here, I have not for one minute felt unsafe. I've done everything that I do in the U.S. and I actually do feel safer here. From my time in Israel, I think uh, I've learned to be open to traveling more, especially in a country where I don't know the language, the symbols, the, uh, the bus signs or anything. It's been a life-changing experience. You, can, you can't replicate it anywhere in the U.S. You learn a lot about other people as well about yourself when you're studying abroad and it has been one of the best experiences I've done at Pet. Their experience in Israel was very important for us. We got to know them, they got to know us, and this is actually the basis for our plan to expand this program for next year. And we are hoping that we will have a group of students from Pittsburgh come to Israel to take courses with Israeli students in the fields of engineering and biotechnology and I hope that this will be a good experience for both our students and the students from Pittsburgh working together on engineering projects and taking courses together.